All right, y'all, we're gonna start with a little bit of a warm up, about four minutes or so, so, um, so that our spine, our core, our thighs, our hamstrings can feel a little bit warmer uh, since we don't have the luscious 105 degrees and 60% humidity with us today. Um, and if you are at home, feel free to uh, grab a heater, a humidifier if you have one, maybe steam up your shower, but be conscious of your water use, um, some ideas. But let's begin uh, our warm up, coming into just a standing position with your feet hips with distance apart. And softly bend through your knees. Inhale your arms up overhead, find mountain. Flip your palms outward and then exhale them down. Let's take a couple more like this. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, sweep out. Last time here, inhale. Good, then exhale as you sweep out with control. Swan dive down, hinge from your hips. Bend your knees a ton and then pause at the bottom. Feel free to pedal your feet here, bend your knees, and then we'll take it to a rag doll. Maybe capture opposite hand, opposite elbow. Seal your belly to your thighs. This belly to thigh compression is what will create a softness for your hamstrings and your spine. Maybe rock it out. Maybe even find some twists, ground a palm, lift the opposite arm up and switch it out. We'll take about seven more breaths of free form movement here before we link back up. Again, deep bend through your knees just to protect the back of your knee joint, to protect your hamstrings here. Good, and let's let our torso come back through center. We'll roll up one vertebra at a time. Squeeze your core up and in, tap through your spine, roll up, let your arms dangle. And stack your shoulders over your wrists, or your hips rather. Okay. So now we'll come into what I call sunflowers. Um, they might have a different name here. Take your arms up over your head, grab opposite hand, opposite elbow. Keep the bend in your knees, feet nice and wide, and start to dive down towards your left. Melt your torso down towards your thighs, bend your knees, take it up towards the right, pause at the top, and then switch directions. These are really great for activating our core while still finding that flexibility and mobility. Squeeze your glutes and your hamstrings every time you lift up. Keep alternating directions. Good. Exhale every time you drop. And inhale to sweep yourself up. Big squeeze. Let's take, let's say, three more rounds each direction. Good. Last two. Inhale to lift. Good, last round both sides. Take it down. Inhale to lift up. And then exhale your arms by your sides. Let's see how we're doing on time. All right, pretty good. Now I'll move through uh, three more rounds of Sun A without Chaturanga so we won't be on our palms. Inhale, sweep up to mountain pose, reach your arms high. Exhale, fold forward, bend your knees a lot. Then inhale, halfway lift, press your hands to your shins or thighs. We're switching it up here. Get your fingers up, lift your heels high, curl into a tiny ball, bring your hips to your heels, draw your forehead towards your knees, puff up your back. Two more breaths here. Good, ground your heels, inhale to half lift, lengthen. Exhale forward, fold, compress. Inhale, take it all the way back up to mountain. And let's do it again. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, tiny ball pose. Tent your fingers, lift your heels, sink your hips. Two breaths. Ground your heels. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, pull your belly to thigh. Inhale, mountain. Let's take one more round through. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen up halfway, press, extend. Exhale, tiny ball. Couple breaths to hold and squeeze your belly, puff up your back body. Drive your heels down, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, pause. Make it your deepest so far. Pull your chin to your chest. Good, inhale, mountain, rise up. And then exhale your arms by your sides. <sighs> All right, beautifully done. We are right on time now. 
Um, so you're welcome to stay standing if you'd like. I'll have my two beautiful demo humans come over here with us um, and welcome to hot yoga. Uh, we are here together today for uh, 65 minutes through our sequence. And the main difference with our practice today is that again, we don't have the heat or the humidity with us. Uh, so without that, we wanna move slowly and we might not go fully to our edge today in the postures that we ordinarily see and that's okay, right? Respect your body, respect your depth without the heat and make sure not to injure yourselves. We wanna keep longevity in our bodies and in our practice. Um, I'll let you know when it's time to start our playlist after I um, hop back behind the camera. And I'm here today with Jesse and with Sophie, who will be demoing for me. Uh, they also might change their direction on their mat today, just so that you have a better view, but know that you're welcome to stay front facing or in the directions that we typically do in our hot practice. Um, forgot to mention that I'm Tay. Hello, welcome back. Good to see you guys. Um, with all that good stuff said, I will hop back and queue up the playlist for you. I'll give you a countdown so you know when to start it. All right, we will start our playlist in three, two, and one. Begin your playlist. All right, let's begin standing. Come to the top of your space. Bring your big toes to touch or hips width distance apart if that feels more comfortable. Close down your eyes for a moment. There's nothing to see here. Just notice and acknowledge where you're at today. There's a lot happening in the world around us in our lives. And rather than let the thoughts muddle and bog you down, give yourself an opportunity to witness them, to let them pass by, and to focus on your breath. That's the power we have through our yoga and our practice. Let's take a big open mouth exhale together. Let everything out. Find a big, bright breath in through your nose, fill up. Once again, H-A, ha. Good, now let's start to add some movement to our breath. Inhale, sweep your arms out and upwards towards the sky. Press your palms together at the top of your inhale. As you exhale, drive your hands downward past your face, your nose, your chin, your heart center, and then separate them at your hips and inhale, sweep up. Continue with this process, reach. Press your hands fiercely together, then exhale them down through your heart space. Continue this breath here on your own. Find a steady and rhythmic pace and match the length of every inhale you take with every exhale. Let your breath help you find steadiness and ease as you set yourself up for your practice. Looking really beautiful at home, everybody. We have absolutely no rush here at all, but as you finish the current breath you're on, we'll take four more on our own, then meet with our hands at our heart center. as smooth and velvety breath as you can in through your nose and out through your lips. You're also welcome to cultivate ujjayi pranayama here in and out through your nose to build a little more internal heat since we aren't working with the heat of our room. And as your hands begin to rest at your heart, no rush. Let yourself drop into a space of intention. This could be anything. It could be something as simple as just to focus on your breath and let your mind be free as you practice. You could send your energy or practice out to the world today, someone that you love who needs it, anything in between. Once you find that intention, let it settle into your heart and find a smile inside because you are powerful and capable of anything that you push your mind to. Slowly begin to blink your eyes open. Then we will begin with our first posture, which is Half Moon Ardha Chandrasana. We'll warm up here. We already did a little warming up, but we'll continue that process. Take your arms overhead. You're welcome to steeple grip right away or grab your wrists. 
maybe find some circles or some side to side bends. You could also back bend and fold. This first chunk of our sequence is all about the articulation of our spine and all the different directions and movements it's able to take. So start to find a space of opening in those areas. Looking good, y'all. Let's take a couple more rounds of breath here. Make sure to balance your body if you did something on one side versus the other. <clears throat> Gorgeous, y'all. Then we'll begin to set up for our first set. Interlace your hands into your steeple grip, lift tall, and exhale, bend your knees and elbows, reset. Inhale, lengthen, reach. Exhale, half moon to the right. 60 seconds begin now. Press down through the soles of both of your feet here as you press your hips to the left side of your space. Lift up and out of both of your side bodies and reach through your fingertips as you send energy over your head. Find ease in your breath, right? No need to go too deep too soon. Just notice where you feel the tension, where you feel the spaciousness of your breath, feel your side body. Good, we are a little over halfway there. So you're welcome to flirt with a little more depth. Utilize your inhales to inspire length through your body. As you exhale, maybe dive just a little bit deeper. But again, stay mindful without the heat. Final 10 seconds here. Lift your chin away from your chest. Stay proud through your heart. And rotate both armpits forward to the top of your space. Last breath out. Good. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bend your knees and elbows, find a little reset. Then inhale, reach tall, lengthen. Exhale, 60 seconds to the second side, up and over. The clock starts now. Appreciate the subtle or not so subtle differences between your right and left sides. And just think of your breath as a tool to even out those differences. Where can you soften? Where can you strengthen? And drive your belly button up and in to help lengthen your tailbone down. Allow your low back to find just as much space as your side bodies here. Steady breaths. We are halfway there. Again, you're welcome to seal your lips to cultivate ujjayi pranayama. This will stoke the fire within to help your muscles build some heat. Squeeze your thighs together. Lift up and out of your left and right side body as you dive a little bit deeper. We're in our final 10 seconds, friends. Change, begin to rise, inhale. Then exhale, release your arms by your sides. Let your shoulders rest for a moment. Maybe give them a nice roll down and back. <sighs> Beautifully done, yogis. Now we'll set up for our first back bend. We'll stick with our steeple grip to start. Maybe go for a butterfly grip and hook your thumbs. Inhale your arms up, interlace them except for your pointer and thumb. Exhale, bend your knees and elbows. Inhale, grow tall and long. Exhale, first back bend. Press your hips forward, squeeze your glutes together and elevate your heart space up. We've got three more lion's breaths here. Inhale through your nose, stick out your tongue, let it out. Nice breath, Jesse and Sophie, get it. Last full round. Stay as you exhale. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold forward. Hinge from your hips. Generously bend your knees. Let's warm up before our first set of Padahastasana, hands to feet pose. You're welcome to find a tiny ball shape like we did a little earlier in our warm up. You're welcome to separate your feet wider. You're welcome to ragdoll. Lots of choices for you here. Listen to your body. Let's take a few more breaths of warm up. And then set yourself up with your big toes to touch a little space between your heels. Bend your knees and grip either underneath your heels, your ankles, or the backs of your calves for Padahastasana. You're welcome to keep a generous bend in your knees and then start to slowly play with lifting your hips up, but keep the belly to thigh compression. If this feels a lot on your hamstrings, Ragdoll is always there for you. That's awesome choice too. Let's take three more rounds of breath here. Tuck your chin to your chest, compress tightly as you squeeze yourself together into a little ball. Gorgeous expressions, last round. Release the grip of your legs, find your steeple grip in front of you. Inhale, rise up strong, flat back, squeeze your belly. And exhale your hands by your sides. Really nicely done. 
So that is the first set. We'll move into our second set of half moon, this time just 30 seconds. Option for variations in your upper body and lower body. I'll have my bodies here demo what that looks like once we get in. Inhale your arms up, start with your steeple grip. Exhale, bend your knees and elbows. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, half moon, 30 seconds to the right begins. Now you're welcome to capture your left wrist with your right fingers or step your left foot behind your right for dancing Shiva pose. Find the same amount of strength here even if you are in different variations. Breathe into your left rib cage, the underside of your left armpit. Good, last push here, final 10 seconds. Change, inhale, lift yourself back up, step your feet together, find your steeple grip. Exhale, bend your knees and elbows. Inhale, re-extend, lift tall. Exhale, 30 seconds to the left, begins now. If you work to a different variation, match it on this side, whatever that may be. Deep, strong inhales through your nose. Powerful exhales, right? This is where we create depth in our practice. Final 10 seconds. Change, inhale, lift up, step your feet together. Exhale, take your hands by your sides, release. Good, we'll come into our second back bend. This time option for cactus arms, but we'll still begin with our steeple grip here. Inhale your arms up overhead, find your grip. Exhale, bend your knees and elbows. Inhale, grow tall, lengthen. Exhale, back bend, and once you find resistance, then maybe cactus your arms apart. Really good. Three more lion's breaths. Tongue all the way out, right? You're at home, don't worry about what you look like. Make an ugly face, get fiery with it. Last one, stay fully for your exhale. Good, inhale, re-extend upwards to the sky. Exhale, fold forwards. You're welcome for a few rounds of breath to warm up again, pedal it out, step out your feet, find a ball shape. We'll journey our way to our second set of Padahastasana. Take your hands behind your heels, ankles, or calves. Touch your belly to your thighs. If that means a deep squat for you, beautiful. Find that shape. This compression is where we get all the benefit of the pose. Maybe tuck your chin in, and then maybe start to lift your hips up just slightly. Awesome adjustments at home, really beautiful. Let's take two more breaths here. And gently begin to release your bind and find your steeple grip. Inhale, rise up with a strong core, flat back. Exhale, your hands by your sides. Beautifully done. Take a moment, roll your shoulders down and back. Get proud through your heart. Proud of how far you've come already. And we'll set up for Utkatasana, our three-part awkward series. I'll have my friends here turn to the side, but you're welcome to stay front facing at home. Step your feet hips width distance apart. This can always be measured with two fists distance between your mid toe knuckles. Once you're set up, extend your arms out in front of you, zombie style, palms down, plug your shoulders down and back. Good, take a deep breath in. Then first part, exhale into a seat behind you. Stack your knees above your ankles and sink your booty down and back. Zip your belly up and in, stay open through your heart space. Peel your collarbones apart. Really nice, fire up your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes here. Maybe float your toes up off the mat. Stay for your exhale breath. Good, keep your arms extended. Inhale all the way up, straighten your legs, then come to your tiptoes. This is the second part. You're welcome to stay like this or start to bend your knees forward. Stack your hips above your heels, your shoulders above your hips. Picture that you could sit flat back against a wall here. That's the length and extension we want of our spine. Good, lift your heels as high as you can. Stay here for one more full round of breath. Play with your edge. Good, keep the arms, inhale, straighten your legs, then drop your heels down. Beautiful, bring your knees and your thighs to touch and turn your toes in slightly, just a little pigeon toe, nothing too much. Then exhale into the third part, take a seat. Your heels will naturally start to lift up off of the earth. And lower as far as you comfortably can with your spine stacked, shoulders over hips. Good, once you reach your edge, maybe find a gentle bounce here if your knees feel safe and, safe and healthy. Good, last three, two, one. Inhale, rise to release. Then exhale your heels and arms down by your sides. Really nice work. 
Deep breath in, fill up. Big sigh, let it go. Ah, gorgeous work, friends. All right, we'll set up for uh, Eagle Pose Garudasana. Bring your feet to touch, big toes together, little space between your heels. We'll take two sets on each side back to back. Inhale your arms up overhead, press your palms together. And exhale, sweep your right arm beneath your left. Grab shoulders or opposite forearm and wrist. Then lift your right leg up and over your left. You can kickstand, float your toes, or fully wrap behind your left calf. Elevate your spine up, but pull your bind down. Compress elbows, really nice. Couple more breaths right here. Squeeze your belly for support and for balance. Last exhale. Unwind as you breathe in, press your palms together. Let's take it straight to the left side. Exhale your left arm beneath you, same bind variation. And then sink low, sweep your left leg up and over your right. Compress your thighs in tightly. This pose is all about the compression, the squeeze. It creates a tourniquet effect in our body. So when we release, we get tons of nutrient rich blood supply to our whole selves. One more full round right here. Unwind as you inhale, press your palms together. Straight to the right side, exhale, right arm under. Sink low, lift your right leg up and over. Now options for variations. You're welcome to crunch your eagle, bring your elbows towards your thighs, or fly your eagle. Send your right leg back behind you. Capital T shape and your body extend and reach. Beautiful choices, friends. Couple more breaths in our variations. Now yogis, if you decided to explore, bring your variations back to eagle first. Pause for your exhale, awesome control. Inhale, unwind, press your palms, step your right foot down. Let's move to the left, exhale, left arm under. Sink low, lift your left leg up and over. Work towards the same expression you did on your right side. Curl it or fly it back. If you were flying, kick with your left leg, strong and fierce. Whether you are curling or flying or staying, squeeze your belly up and in towards your spine. Variations begin to return back to our eagle first. Hold for your breath out. Good, inhale, untangle yourself, lift tall. And then exhale your hands by your sides. Ha, ah, beautifully done. Deep breath in, let it go, exhale. Ah. All right, friends, this is our scheduled water break of class. You're always welcome to take water whenever you need to, listen to your body, take breaks from postures, uh, but this is the only time that I will offer it um, as a separate break in our practice. All right, we'll set up for our standing balancing series in our sequence. First with standing forehead to knee. First set is 60 seconds, second is 30. So again, don't worry about going to your complete edge right away unless your body's warm and ready. Bring your hands to your hips, your big toes to touch. Inhale your right knee up in line with your hip, flex your toes. 60 seconds begins now. This is the first layer of our posture. Press firmly into your left foot. Find a micro bend through your left knee to help muscle hug to bone. Dial your right hip down. And once you feel your hips are level, maybe take your hands away from your hips. Shine your palms forward, puff up through your heart. Focus on your breath here. Ax axially extend your spine upwards, lift through the crown of your head. Now we are halfway there. We have lots of options to go forward from here. You can stay, you could take your arms overhead. This will raise your heart rate. Or you could start to play with binds here. Maybe round forward, interlace your hands beneath your foot, over your shin, underneath your right hamstring. Cat your spine if you are binding. Curl your belly in, right? Forehead to knee is the name of the pose. We want our gaze slightly down, maybe towards our left big toe for balance. Final push here, last five. Good, change with control, come out, lift your spine and step your right foot down. Whew, beautifully done. Pedal out your feet, take time for yourself to reset. Juicy, loud. Inhales and exhales. All right, we'll set up for our second side. Again, 60 seconds. Let's return our hands to our hips. Press into your right foot. Inhale your left knee up in line with your hip crease. We've got 60 seconds on the clock now. Good. Fire up your toes. The flex towards our kneecap really helps to engage our quad and our low belly here to create more elevation and lift. 
As your hips level, maybe release your hands by your sides. Spread your fingers wide, energize your entire body here. Knit your shoulder blades together onto your back to help open through your chest. Stick with your breath. We are halfway there. Build on the same way you did before. Maybe elevate your arms. Maybe find any grip on your thigh or leg or shin or foot is perfect. Appreciate the breath. Find steadiness here. Or can you soften, unfurrow your brow and clench your jaw, but strengthen your low body. We're in our final five seconds, friends. And change, gently release your left foot down, lift your torso up. Take whatever it is you need here to reset, to reground. <sighs> All right, y'all. Before we set up for our second set of 30 seconds, you're welcome to go for the full expression. The full expression here is our foot bound with a basket grip and our leg extended all the way forward. But please be mindful to keep your gaze downward. We get all the benefit from forehead towards our knee. All right, let's set it up. Bring your hands to your hips. Press into your left foot and inhale your right knee up. Good, 30 seconds begins now. I will let you start to explore on your own, right? You can stay right here if you can build your second layer or you can go for the bind, curl forward and compress. Hug your core tight wherever you are. Final 10 seconds, yogis. Get it, y'all, so good. Change, release, bend your knees, step your foot down, elevate your chest up. Gorgeous work at home, friends. Really nice. Let's take a breath together. Recalibrate. Inhale. Sigh it out. <sighs> All right. So let's move to our second side. Return your hands to your waistline. Press into your left foot, or rather your right foot, and inhale your left knee up. We have 30 seconds on the clock. Begin. Find control wherever you move. Your breath is always your guide. Find a steadiness, find ease here. 10 more seconds. And change, beautifully done. Bend your knees, step, and lift your chest up. Let's take one more breath like that, inhale. Let it go, exhale. Our next posture is standing bow pose. We'll begin with a warm up on our right side. Start to spiral your right arm around either circular motions. If you do a circle, make sure to hit forward and back. Maybe circle side to side, finding a little twist in your spine, your mid body. Let's take a few more rounds of breath here to warm up. All right, similar to standing forehead to knee, we have two sets of this posture. First is 60 seconds, second is 30 seconds. So again, find longevity, ease in this first round. Don't worry too much about your depth. Press into your left foot and present your right palm out like you're holding a platter. Bend your right knee and grab the inside edge of your foot. So thumb and big toe are on the same side together. Option to keep your left arm down or reach up. We have 60 seconds on the clock now. Before we begin any kicking, drive your tailbone down. This will create a lot of stretch through your right quad, your psoas, that's your hip flexor. And then elongate your spine, find some lift up. Good, deepen your breath. We are halfway there. If you'd like to begin to find a little bit of kick, keep in mind that the kick is just as much about back body engagement and squeeze as it is about front body opening and length. Hug through your right glute, your right hamstring. You rotate your right hip forward and down, your right shoulder forward and down. Neutralize your body. Gorgeous expression, y'all. We have our last push here. Final round of breath. 
and change. Inhale yourself back up with control. Beautifully done. Reset as needed. Breathe. Hug your belly up and in. And begin to warm up your left hand side as you're ready. Rotate around in circular movements, side to side movements. Beautiful friends. Let's set ourselves up. Present your left palm out by your side, palm to the sky. Bend your left knee and grab the inner edge of your foot. Good. Stay with your arm down or extend it up. You have 60 seconds on the clock. Press into the four corners of your right foot. If this is your foundation to the earth, maybe bend your right knee softly. The second we lock out, we lose all muscular integrity of our balance. Even out your breath here. Good, we are about halfway there. If you begin to kick, find the same movement and layer of intensity as you did on your right side. Elevate your heart. Let's spiral your left shoulder down to help create stretch through your pec, your shoulder head. Squeeze the muscles that line your spine. Tap into your breath. Last two rounds of breath here. Find your edge. And change. Gently lift yourself back up. So gorgeous, yogis. Let's take some breaths together. Fill up through your nose. Open up, sigh. Ah. Again, fill up. Let it out. Ah. Good. All right, let's set up for our 30-second set on the right. Again, be mindful of your edge without the heat, but you're welcome to push into that space of creativity of the final variation of your posture here. Present your right palm out. Bend your right knee, grab the inside edge. Elevate your left arm or stay. 30 seconds begins now. Maintain the strength of your belly even as you kick. Create your core, create support for the entire posture. We are halfway there, friends. Imagine you could brush your foot against the wall behind you, up and behind your back body. Last five seconds. And change, gently lift up. Awesome, awesome work, yogis. Let's fill up together, inhale. Let something go. Ah. Okay, let's begin our left hand side. Last set of our standing bow. Present your left palm. Grab the inner arch of your foot. Extend your right arm up. We have 30 seconds on the clock. Strengthen through your right leg. We are halfway there. Final five, stick with it, play with your edge. <clears throat> Change, gently lift yourself back up. Uh, reset, roll your shoulders, roll your neck side to side, pedal your feet. Beautifully done. All right, friends, we will start to set up for Tula Dandasana balancing stick at the back of our mat. So start to gravitate your way there so you have a little room to work with. Um, be mindful, standing bow is such a beautiful posture, but it likes to enlighten or kind of invigorate our ego a bit. So when we start to seesaw our body in this next posture, it can be a little wake up call. So tap back into your breath, stay strong with me here. All right, from the back of your space, big toes touch. Inhale, your arms overhead to your steeple grip. Exhale, bend your knees and elbows. Inhale, lengthen and step your right foot to the middle of your mat. Exhale, capital T your body into balancing stick. We're here just for a few breaths. Squeeze your biceps in, kick through your left foot, rotate your left hip down. So gorgeous, hold here for one more exhale breath. Inhale, step back, left foot, then right feet together, back of your space. Exhale, bend your knees and elbows. 
Inhale, lengthen, step your left foot to the center of your mat. Exhale, hinge, find balancing stick, second side. Imagine someone was pulling your hands and your right foot apart from one another in two different directions. Feel your spinal vertebral body separate here. Hold for your exhale. Step your right foot as you inhale, then left, arms up. Exhale, your hands by your sides. Ah, really nicely done. We have one more set of this posture. You're welcome to explore some different variations. This could be a standing split. This could be airplane with arms back by your sides, maybe hands at your heart, or an, any other variation that your body's craving. We'll begin the same way, feet together. Inhale to your steeple grip, send your arms up. Exhale, bend your knees and elbows. Inhale, lengthen, step your right foot forward. And exhale, find your posture. Shift through balancing stick into your variation of choice. Awesome options, y'all. Breathe, length into your right hamstring. Extend and squeeze your belly. We've got one more full round of breath wherever you are. With control, lengthen, step your left foot back, rise up, and then step your right foot next to your left. So exhale, bend your knees and elbows. Inhale, lift, step your left foot forward. Exhale, shift from your waist into balancing stick and your expression. Be mindful to create balance in your body, right? We want this equanimity as best as we can create it for ourselves. So find a similar variation. Beautiful choices at home, y'all. Stay for one more full round of breath. Gently release your variation. Step your right foot, inhale up, and then your left. Exhale your hands by your sides. Ah. Beautifully done. Let's take a breath together. Inhale deeply. H A ha. Another like this. Inhale. H A ha. Last time, fill up. Big sigh. Ha. All right, begin to work your way to the top of your space and then turn to face the side of your mat. Whichever side maybe is facing the camera for you at home or whatever works best. My friends here will face the camera so you can see what's happening. We'll start with our feet to touch for our wide leg fold series. Inhale your arms up overhead, press your palms together. Exhale, take a big step out to the side. Maintain the rotation of your toes forward. Take an inhale here. Exhale, fold, plant your hands beneath your shoulders, hinge from your waist for wide leg forward fold. Now you're welcome to stay in this variation with your hands grounded. Maybe take your hands to your ankles or walk them a little further back between your feet. Entirely up to you. Notice what feels good, where the sensation is and chase that space. We have a couple more breaths here and we will take a second fold of a different variation. If you're like craving time to stay here longer, you're welcome to do so. And I'll let you know what arm variation we'll take in a bit. For my friends transitioning with me, bring your hands back beneath your shoulders. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale your arms out like a T or to your hips. Inhale your torso up. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back into a fist. Inhale your chest up, your fist down. Exhale, wide leg fold with a chest expansion. Melt your belly towards your thighs. Let your fist fall from your back body. Now, if at any point in time this grip does not feel good on your wrists, your elbows, you're welcome to ground your palms. No need to push yourself. Shift your body weight evenly through both of your feet. Lift your kneecaps up towards your hips to fire your quads. This will help your hamstrings create more space and length. One more breath right here. And by way of your low back, release your hands beneath your shoulders. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, T, open your arms. Inhale, lift your torso. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, step your feet back to the top of your mat. Press your palms together. Then exhale your hands down by your sides. <sighs> Beautifully done, y'all. Deep breath in. Horse lips, exhale. Let's do one more like that. Inhale. Horse lips, let it go. All right. This is the peak cardiovascular posture of our class, hot triangle. We have two sets here because of course, why not? We love it so much, let's do it two times in a row. Uh, first set classic, second set option for some variations that we'll talk about in a moment. Inhale your arms up over your head. Step out to the right, again about four feet. Good, then lunge to the back of your mat, bend your knee, think warrior two. Inhale, shift forward, long side bodies. Exhale to hot triangle, bring your bottom arm down, lift your top arm up to the sky. Spiral your rib cage open, your top hip open. Press into the knife edges of both of your feet here. Really beautiful expressions. 
Stay here for one more exhale. Inhale, lift your torso up, arms like a T, straighten your bent knee, and rotate your toes forward. Let's switch it out. Bend your opposite knee, find warrior two lunge. Inhale, shift forward, lengthen. And exhale, lower your arm and lift your top arm up towards the ceiling. Open up through your side bodies, your hips. Squeeze your inner thighs up and in together as if you could bring them to touch. This is what helps us find support and balance in this pose. Fire up your breath here if that's what it's for. One more full round. Stay as you exhale out. Inhale, lift your torso, arms, T. Straighten your legs, turn your toes towards the side. Stay for one more breath out. Inhale, step your feet together, press your palms together. Exhale, your arms by your sides. All right, really nicely done. Let's fill up here. Open mouth, exhale. One more in tandem, fill up. Let it go. All right, second set of hot triangle. You're welcome to work towards a half bind, a full bind, a different variation of your choosing. You're welcome to explore your practice here. Inhale your arms up over your head, press your palms. Exhale, big step out to the side. Good, turn your toes that just step to the back of your mat, lunge low. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, hot triangle. For the half bind, take your top hand behind your low back. For full bind, reach your bottom arm in front of your bottom inner thigh to capture your top back hand. If you are binding, we still want an open heart, spiral your chest to the sky. For my bound friends, take your arms open to earth and sky first. Good, then we all inhale our torso up, straighten your bent leg, rotate your toes, switch out your lunge, bend your knee, shift forward as you inhale. Exhale, arms to earth and sky, hot triangle. If you bound before, good news, you get to do it again. Half bind, top hand behind your back or full, reach for your back hand in front of your leg. Beautiful breath, y'all, keep it going. For my friends and variations, let's meet back, arms open. Inhale, lift your torso, straighten your leg, turn your toes, stay for your exhale. Good, step your feet together, palms press. Exhale your hands by your sides. Uh, really nice work, y'all. Let's take a breath together, reset. Send it out. Once more, inhale. Send it out. All right, we are in the home stretch of our standing sequence. We have a couple more postures left. We'll set up for a standing separate leg, forehead to knee, or uh, pyramid pose here. Bring your hands up over your head and cross your thumbs. Keep your hands overhead. Take a smaller step out to the side, about three feet. Pivot to face your back leg. Do a little adjustment of your stance. Separate your feet onto train tracks. Pull your back hip back. Style your right hip forward. Inhale here. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest and dive down. Bring your fingers towards your shins, your uh, forehead towards your knee. You're always welcome to separate your bound hands for more balance and support. Bend your front knee as much as you need to here, right? It's about the compression of forehead to knee more than the straight lengthening of your hamstring. Couple more breaths to compress, to squeeze. Hug your belly up and in. If you lost your bind, reconnect your palms together. Inhale, rise up one vertebra at a time with control. Let your chin rise last. Pivot to the side and then pivot to the front. Separate your feet, plant your back foot flat at a 45 degree. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, roll down with control. Separate your hands if you did so before. Bend your knee. Modify the posture, right? Modifications are not cheating. They are amazing ways to unlock what we want from the poses that we find. more breaths. Knit your core tightly in towards your spine. If you lost your bind, reconnect your palms. Press into your front foot to roll up with control. Let your chin come last. Pivot to the side of your mat. Then exhale, feet together, arms by your side. Step. Beautifully done. Inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Again, deep breath in. Cleansing exhale. All right, our final standing posture is tree pose. We will take two sets today. 
First set is a little bit shorter. We'll just focus on foundation. Second set, you're welcome to explore. Let's press into our right foot and then bring your right, uh, left knee rather up in line with your hip crease. And then take your knee open to the left side of your space and then ground your foot to your inner thigh, your calf, your ankle. This is power style. For hot style, you're welcome to bring the pinky edge of your foot to your right hip crease. The hands to your heart or you can hold your bound foot. Deepen your breath. We have a few more rounds here. Continue to pull your bent knee open. Expose your hips. Last breath. With control, rotate your left knee forward and drop your foot down to the earth. Reset however you like. Pedal it out. Bend your knees. Sway through your hips. And then we'll set up for our second side. Inhale your right knee up and then open to the outside of your space. Then ground your foot to your inner thigh, your calf, your ankle, or hot style pinky edge of your foot to your hip crease. And breathe into your hip space. Help your hips level. Drive your right hip down as you puff your left hip up. Elevate your heart towards your thumbs. A couple more rounds. With mindful control, guide your knee forward and then step your foot to the earth. Awesome work at home, yogis. You guys look beautiful. Let's take a deep breath in. Let it out. Okay, we have our final standing posture, our second set of tree. Now you're welcome to grow your branches, send your arms overhead here. If toe stand is in your practice, do your thing. Don't let me stop you. I'll give you some space here to play. We'll set up the same way. First on our left side, inhale your left knee up, then open. Place your foot in a new spot or the same spot as before. You can bring hands to heart or start to evolve and grow and shift somewhere new. Maybe close your eyes or lift your gaze up. Challenge yourself wherever you may be. Variations begin to return back to home base with hands at heart. And we will all gently release as we exhale. Drop your foot down. Beautifully done. Ah, let's take one more collective breath before our second side fill up. Side out. Ah. All right, last side. Take your right knee up, then open. Place your foot. Match the expression you took on your left. into your breath. My beautiful variations start to come back with hands at heart. Awesome control. And then gently release. Close your eyes. Bring your hands to your heart center. Observe the shifts in your physical body and your mind. Notice the power of your breath and your practice and what it can do just to show up for yourself here in this space. Let yourself be enveloped in the love you have for yourself, for the work that you do, for how you show up. Gently blink your eyes open. And we'll come into our first Shavasana. Let's lie down onto our mats. You're welcome to have your head in either direction. Now, even though we are taking Shavasana here for about a minute, I encourage you to still stay present and aware rather than fully taking rest. This is another beautiful space to witness what the work of your practice can do for you.
I'll let you know when it's time to move again. Be still and be here right now. Just gently begin to bring your awareness back to your body. Find a little more depth to your breath. Find rich inhales all the way into your belly. And let them go through your lips. Wiggle your fingers and toes. <clears throat> and find a full body stretch. Reach your arms behind your head. Get long, point through your toes. Exhale your right knee in towards your chest, interlace your hands above your right shin for half window moving pose. Guide your knee around your side body towards your armpit to compress through your hip, your ascending colon, your internal organs, like a little massage here. Flex your toes up towards your face to help inspire activation through your low body. Good, let's stay here for one more breath in. As you exhale, supine twist, shift your hips to the right slightly as you guide your thigh and knee across your body. Option to open your arms here to a T or goal post. If you'd like the twist to go a little deeper into your cervical spine, your neck, let your head roll to the right. Let gravity do the work here for you as you bring and rinse out your mid body. Find ease and release. One more exhale. Then inhale yourself back to center. Hug both of your knees in to reset your low spine. Give them a little compress. And keep your left knee, send your right leg long, interlace your hands over your left shin for half wind removing pose on our second side. Drive your knee around your side body, up towards your rib cage, or around it rather. This time we're massaging our descending colon. This helps with our digestive system, help keep things moving and flowing within ourselves. Let's stay for one more breath in. Exhale, supine twist, shift your hips to the left as you guide your left knee over your right, stack your hip bones, open your arms, let your head roll to the left. One last full round of breath here. Inhale yourself back to center. Hug both of your knees and thighs in for full wind removing pose. Welcome to grab with your hands, maybe opposite hand to opposite elbow or interlace. Keep your head and neck grounded, your low back flat as you squeeze yourself tightly, maybe rock side to side. This posture is really doing it for you and you'd like to stay here longer, be my guest. If you'd like to move into happy baby pose, that is next up for you. Grab for your feet, ankles, calves, or even backs of knees and thighs as you send your feet upwards, drive your knees wide towards your armpits. If a rock feels good, find that space. Maybe straddle your legs one at a time or both at the same time. And we'll come back to a tiny ball shape. Hug your thighs, shins, knees to touch. Curl your forehead up to your knees. Rock forward and back a few times. Create a little momentum. And we'll come up to a seat and then spiral around to the top of our mat to set up downward facing dog. 
Welcome to spend a little quality time here. Pedal your feet, bend your knees. And our next destination is half pigeon. We'll begin on the right. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Exhale your right knee to your outer right wrist crease. Right ankle near your left wrist crease as best as you can. Extend your left leg straight back behind your left glute and puff up your chest for a moment. You're always welcome to stay elevated here or sleep your pigeon, melt your torso forward and down. If this posture creates um, too much pain or tension in your knee joint or hip, you're always welcome to find reclined figure four on your back or utilize a blanket beneath your hip or any other prop that your body might want. Allow yourself the, the time, give yourself permission to be soft here. Even though our hips tend to be tight spaces of our body, can you find softness there, but as well your shoulders, your jaw, your face? we have about seven more rounds of breath left in this pose if there's a different variation you'd like to explore please feel free to go there beautiful choices are still low in your sleeping pigeon begin to walk yourself back up plant your palms beneath your shoulders tuck your toes under lift up to down dog or three leg dog and then find your way back to down dog and we will switch it out inhale your left leg skyward exhale half pigeon bring your left knee wide left ankle towards your right side same setup as before, puff up for a moment, expand your heart, your hips, and then exhale, sleep your pigeon or journey your way to the variation you chose on your first side. This is another posture that allows us to really appreciate the asymmetry of our bodies. So just observe, acknowledge without judgment. Just know you're exactly where you need to be, doing what you need to be doing. Come back to your breath. Once again, have about seven more rounds of breath left for you to explore and build if you did so on the first side. My friends still grounded begin to walk yourself back up to your palms tuck under your right toes find your way back to down dog pedal it out and then meet downward facing dog take a big bright breath in here fill up let it out inhale roll forward to high plank 
stay here or lower to your forearms for forearm plank. All right, y'all, we are here for a minute together. Puff up through your shoulder blades, knit your core up and in, and strengthen your low body for support. Now, I know you're always welcome to bring your knees down for a little more support or take breaks as you need, but I encourage you to stay steadfast and strong in this posture. Right? In the grand scheme of life, a minute is not a lot of time. You can do this. Focus on every inhale, every exhale, and how much more powerful you can make it every single round. We are a little over halfway there. Notice where the thoughts go. Usually this is where I tell myself that I'm a crazy person for doing hot yoga, but luckily we don't have the heat today, right? So we can push through and find that edge, that passion, that fire from within. Stick with me, y'all. Final 10. Big, loud exhale. We're only here for four. It's just three. Last two. And one sphinx pose, lower to your belly. Ooh. Pull your chest through your shoulders as you drag your elbows back slightly, stretch your core. And then cross your palms, bring your elbows wide, drop your forehead down for crocodile pose. Breathe into your back body, feel the stretch through your low, your mid, your upper back. We'll set up for our belly down back strengthening series, starting with cobra pose. Bring your hands by your low ribs, elbow tips up to the sky. Press down through the tops of your feet. Keep them grounded. Inhale, elevate your heart and chin away from the earth. Bring little to no weight in your hands. Maybe even float your hands up. Squeeze your glutes, your back body to elevate, to lift. One more inhale here. Exhale, lower down. Gaze to the right. Bring your hands by your hips, palms face up. Just a few breaths to reset. We'll set up for bound locust. Guide your chin to center and interlace your hands behind your back into a fist. Stay for your exhale. Then inhale, lift everything up off the mat, your chest, your toes, your legs. Squeeze your fist away from your glutes. Lengthen your neck so there's no wrinkles through the back of it. Good, find one more lift, one more inch of squeeze. Inhale here. Exhale, lower with control. Separate your bind, gaze to the left, hands by your side. Couple breaths. Come into full locust next. Bring your arms out like a capital T in line with your shoulders, palms down. You're welcome to tent or flatten them. Stay for your exhale breath. And inhale, lift everything up like you were Superman, flying through the sky, arms back, shoulder blades together. Bring your big toes to touch if you can. Yes, so good. Stay for one more round of breath. Fill up here. Exhale, release with control, gaze right. All right, friends, we will begin to set up for floor bow, Dhanurasana. If you'd rather take another set of locusts, always listen to your body, that's completely fine. If you're with me in bow, bring your chin to center, bend your knees, and grab the outer edges of your feet. Stay for your exhale here. Then inhale, kick your feet into your hands, pull your hands back against your feet. Roll to the soft part of your belly and squeeze your thighs together to keep your knees hips width distance apart. Yes, find your biggest, most beautiful bow shape here. One more breath in. No slingshots, exhale with control, release, gaze to the left, separate your hands from your feet, nice, sep nice uh, release, y'all. You're welcome to windshield wipe your feet or simply lay flat to the earth. Then guide your chin back to center, press your hands underneath your shoulders and find child's pose. Shift your hips up and back to your heels, take your knees wide apart. Give yourself a few rounds of breath here. This is an awesome release and counter pose for Dhanurasana and really all of our back strengtheners. And inhale your way through tabletop. Walk your knees a little further forward to the top of your space. We'll set up for hero's pose or fixed firm. Bring your knees and your thighs to touch, but separate your feet apart like a little mermaid tail and sit between your heels onto the earth. If this feels crazy for your knees, you're welcome to place a towel under your seat like Jesse has done or a block if you have access to it or a pillow. This is layer one, stay here or walk your hands behind you, fingertips forward like you're sunbathing on a beach, puff up your heart. If you're on a block or prop, stay here. Otherwise, you're welcome to lower to forearms or all the way down to your back. 
as best as you can, drive your belly in, draw your tailbone down. Feel the stretch through your quads, your hip flexors. One more full round of breath, beautiful. For my friends, all the way down, cross your palms on top of one another underneath your low back and press straight up like Dracula coming out of his coffin. Good, and then shift forward through table, pedal out your feet one at a time or both. If down dog feels better, go for it. And then bring your knees, your thighs, and your heels to touch and take a seat on your heels. We'll set up for half tortoise. Inhale your arms up over your head. Prayer hands, cross your thumbs. Let's take one more breath in here, lengthen. With your hips on your heels, fold forward with a flat back. One day your forehead will touch the earth before your pinkies. It'll be a glorious day when it happens. But in the meantime, once you arrive, press down through the pinky edge of your prayer hands to lift your elbows up. Maybe even bring your biceps behind your ears. And sink your hips down and back. Last breath here. Come out the same way we came in. Ground your heels, inhale, rise with flat back, strong belly, arms up. Exhale your hands by your sides. Really nice. All right, friends, you'll set up for camel pose, Ustrasana. Come to standing on your knees. Take your knees hips width distance apart. Again, you can always measure with two fists between them. Bring your hands to your low back like you have invisible pant pockets, fingers down. Hug your elbows tight together. Let's take a deep breath in to elevate your chest. Then exhale, shift your gaze across the ceiling, drive your hips forward on top of your knees. If you have full camel in your practice, you're welcome to go there, but no pressure. Lion's breath, stick out your tongue, release some heat. This is a big chest expansion and back bend. One more round here. If your hands left your low back, return them there, then inhale your torso up. Exhale, take a seat on your heels. If you feel any lightheadedness here, you're welcome to stay with your head above your heart in this position. If you feel ready for embryo, bring your thighs and knees to touch, ground your forehead to the center of your mat, and bring your hands, palms face up by your heels. Friends, if you are familiar with how to enter into rabbit pose from embryo, you are welcome to do it from this space. Um, I will have Sophie demonstrate for you if you'd like a visual here. We'll start with our palms face up, thumbs forward towards the front of your mat. Then reach your hands behind you for your heels. We can't really grip till we round. Sophie will tuck her chin to her chest, then roll down one bone at a time till her forehead comes to her knees and her head is just lightly touching the earth. Then she can really grip her heels and lift her hips up off of her heels. Really nice. We have a lot of pull here. This is a strong posture. So use your upper body muscles to compress tight and stretch your back. Two more breaths. Control, drop your hips down to your heels first, then inhale your chest up. Good. Shift your hips to the left side of your mat and extend your right leg long out. We'll set up for Janu Shirsasana with our left knee bent first. Bring the sole of your left foot to your right inner thigh. Inhale your arms up over your head, reach tall. Pivot your chest towards your extended leg and exhale, fold forward. You're welcome to bend your knee as much as you'd like to bring your forehead towards it. You can bind beneath your knee, grab thigh, calf, ankle, foot. Listen to your body. Press down through your hips and rotate your left shoulder forward. Last exhale here. Inhale, lift your torso up. And then exhale, plant your hands by your hips and switch out your legs. Extend your left leg, bend your right knee. Inhale your arms skyward, reach up, pivot, and exhale, fold. Press down through your right sits bone just as much as your left to help expand your side body as much as your left hamstring and left leg. Lead with your heart space here. Last round of breath. Inhale your torso back up, arms to the sky. Exhale your hands by your hips. Good. Extend both of your legs forward towards the top of your mat, feet together. Find a nice bend through your knees, flex up your toes. Then inhale your arms to the sky. Exhale to Paschimottanasana, forward fold, hinge from your waist. 
Encourage length through your low back as you inhale, create the spaciousness. With every exhale, lead with your heart, lean forward a little further. Let's take three more rounds like that. Last one. Deep in as you exhale. Inhale your torso up, reach your arms skyward. Exhale your hands by your side. Bend your right knee and cross your right ankle over your left thigh for Ardha Matsya Andrasana. You're welcome to keep your left leg straight or bend your left knee, bring your heel towards your right sits bone, a forearm twist. Then plant your right hand behind you like a pillar of support. Inhale your left arm up. Exhale, hook your left elbow outside of your right knee. Good, we've got three breaths. Inhale to create, lift up. Exhale, revolve, twist a little deeper, use your core. Two more, inhale. Exhale, spiral to the back. Last time, inhale, lift. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, unwind, and bring both hands to the left side of your space for a little counter twist. Good. Come back to center, swap out your legs, cross your left on top of your right. Right leg can remain straight or bent. Ground your left hand behind you. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, hook and twist. Three more rounds. Right inhale to lift. Exhale, press, rotate. Good, inhale. And use your obliques, twist. Last time here, inhale. Spiral. Good, inhale, counter twist to the right. Bring your hands down. Good, and then come back to center. Find a comfortable seat. I'll have my friends here turn towards the front of the camera. We'll set up for our Kapalabhati breath. This is our skull shining breath or breath of fire. It is a forced exhale out of our nose using the strength of our core. So it's not hyperventilation, right? Even though we are breathing quickly. So be mindful that we're using our belly muscles to create that snap outwards. We'll take 60 rounds today. The first 30 will be a little bit slower. Then the second 30 will be a bit quicker. I'll let you know when that transition of pace begins. And I'll also let you know when we're almost finished with all 60 rounds. So let's close our eyes. We'll take a couple cleansing breaths first together. Inhale deeply through your nose. Open mouth, sigh, let it go. Good again, inhale, fill up. Big sigh. Now seal your lips, inhale halfway through your nose. Begin slow. Five, four, three, two, one. Big exhale out. Deep, deep inhale. Let it go. One more inhale and hold at the top. Turn towards your chest for three, two, one. Let it go. Completely exhale. Hold at the bottom. No air for three, two, one. Big breath in. And then take our final Shavasana. Begin to lie down onto your back. Your head towards the front and your feet towards the back of your space. Close your eyes. Allow yourself to feel the effects of your practice from the inside out. This is truly where we soak up all of our hard work, all of our efforts. I will take you out in a few moments. You know, you're always welcome to stay longer, but I'll let you know when it's time. Let yourself slip away. Let's stay present.
beautiful yogis. Yeah, and you are welcome to stay longer if you are craving a space of stillness, of restoration. But if you are ready to come back, begin slowly, first with your fingers and your toes, kind of easing the small wiggles into bigger movements. over your head, find a full body stretch once again. And then your knees roll right or left, use your arm as a pillow in supported fetal position. Stay soft and heavy for a couple more rounds of breath, let the muscles of your face and belly be limp. your eyes closed, press your way up to a comfortable seat with your hands at your heart center. I can't express it enough, but it is truly such a gift to still get to be here with you virtually through this space. It is so important now more than ever to stay connected to our practice, to stay connected to our community, and to show up for ourselves and for one another the best that we can. Even though we are apart and distance, I still feel you, I see you, I love you, and I appreciate you. All of the lights, the dark, the good, the bad, everything muddled up and in between that's in me is the same in you and I see it and I recognize it and I love you even more for it. Inhale your thumbs from your heart space to your third eye. Exhale, we bow in gratitude. Namaste. Namaste. <sighs> Thank you again, beautiful yoga friends. Um, I just can't say it enough times, but it is the best to be here with you virtually um, and whatever the changing climate throws our way, we'll get through it together and through this community. Um, and that's something I do know for sure. If you have questions for us, feedback, uh, comments, we're always accepting those at info at soul19yoga.com. Uh, we'll keep the chat open so we can uh, talk to you guys for a sec or you guys can speak with one another. Um, but we love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, y'all. <laughs>